from the Walt Disney World Resort. It's episode 158 of Inside 300. I'm your host, Brian Perry, with your Disney News Flash in just three minutes, live from Coronado Springs, to the windows on Soren. Soren out in California Adventure, which has properly returned to Soren over California for the park's food and wine festival, malfunctioned so badly the other day that riders got an IMAX look at a PC rebooting and a Windows logo. The footage comes from at J Palmer Dubs. For unknown reasons, the attraction kept operating as if nothing was wrong, giving riders a full motion simulator ride to absolutely nothing. The best part is that the music and sounds kept playing and the hang gliders kept, well, gliding like the ride was operating normally. You can even hear the fireworks going off before the ride comes to an end. Take a listen. <laughs> Now, according to Palmer, the riders received any time lightning lanes for their troubles. If you're lucky enough to go to Disneyland in the next two months, Soren over California will be running through the third week of April before returning, unfortunately, to Soren around the world. Have you ever wanted to own an attraction vehicle? Well, now's your opportunity as Heritage Auctions, the self-proclaimed world's largest collectibles auctioneer, is hosting a Disney Parks auction from March 23rd to the 25th. Items that are currently up on the site to preview are a Skyway cab that once traveled through the Matterhorn, a vehicle from Snow White's Scary Adventures, a car from Autopia, but here we go, the Holy Grail coming up, a car from the Mach 4 Monorail Blue at Walt Disney World. I want to bid on this thing. I have no room for it, but, but how can you not want to bid on this? What a piece of Disney history, an actual monorail car. It says the bidding is not even $2,000 right now, but expect that to skyrocket once the auction actually launches later in the month. Tron's post show area was open the other day and features graphics and a light cycle for the fictional Team Green. The color green comes as no surprise as the area is sponsored by Enterprise. Just last week, WDI had shared some photos of the area as it was getting ready to launch. Tron opens to the public in less than a month, but it is currently operating for annual pass holder previews. Finally, a quick This Day in Disney history. We go back 40 years, 1983, when one president, Mr. Ronald Reagan, shows up to Epcot and gives a speech after checking out the American Pavilion. We can, we can see, see the, the benefits, benefits of this revolution, revolution already. Many of the advantages you can view right here at Epcot, Epcot Center, which, which itself is a celebration of tomorrow. tomorrow. That's going to do it for this episode of Inside 300. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon. Hello, bell. So you're notified every time we come out with brand new content. I've been your host, Brian Perry. I'll see you this Sunday for Jeopardy. Until then. Bye-bye.